Runk. <laughs> Tucson, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. You're up next. Tucson, Arizona. And then I got some dates in Colorado and Charlotte. Oh, and I just ad- added uh, Las Vegas to my website. So go check that out. I'm going to be doing uh, some Las Vegas dates. Uh, they're up now. And then um, also Nashville coming up. <clears throat> Little Rock. Montreal. Anyway, um, so go to chrislea.com and uh, check out my tour tickets. I'll be in uh, Cleveland. And without further ado, this is the new episode of Congratulations. And so I am off and running. You know, uh, it is Memorial Day today, and we don't stop. Just because it's a holiday and people don't work on holidays doesn't mean that we don't work on holidays. Doesn't mean that I don't work hard as shit on holidays. We've got to bleep that out. Uh, too early to do a swear word. We got to we gotta work hard. We work hard, dude. I sit here and I talk for an hour. And there's people out there doing stuff like, you know, making buildings and manual labor. But they're not sitting here talking for an hour. Uh, so talk about hard labor. Um, yeah, 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 I get it, you know? It's all good. People are going to be mad at that, even though it's a joke, but it's fine, you know? Um, <clears throat> it is Memorial Day, and I'll tell you what, my ears are clogged. Yes, dude. My ears are clogged, and am I am I sick? No, but why are my ears clogged? I have no idea. Dude, I'm not sick, but my ears are clogged. My ears have been clogged for three days, and that is just perfect. And I'll tell you, I blew my nose right before the show right now, made it worse. Dude, yes, it made it worse, so now I can't hear anything, but it's all good. I don't need to hear anything, because I can, it's just me, right? It's just me talking. Um, I am, it's been gloomy, right? Little weather report here, it's been gloomy. By the way, speaking of report, go check out the tour reports, man. The last few have been just absolutely banging, the the Cincinnati one particularly, uh, on my other channel, my Chris Lea channel on YouTube. Um. And while you're at it, leave a leave a comment, dude. You're listening. Leave a comment right now, dude, and get the algorithm pumping. Make sure you're si- you're um, you're uh, signed. Uh, you're uh, subscribed to Super Super Good Studios. Uh, yeah, man. It's been gloomy, and it's been, uh, dude. The weather affects me, man. The weather affects me. What's going on with this, man? I pay premium rent. I mean, I don't pay rent. I pay mortgage, but I pay I pay a lot to live here. I I do, you know, the L.A. tax. I do the California tax. I pay a lot to live here. So sup. So sup with the grayness. I don't like that. I don't like the grayness. I pay here to live. I, the, the best part about this place, the weather. Now, was it the vibe three years ago before COVID? Yes. And now is it way different after COVID? Yes. So what's the, what's the greatest reason to live here? Because of the weather. And then we don't even have it. Right now, at this point, we're creeping on a come up on June here, right? So let's get it only sunny every single day. I don't like the grayness. I don't like the clouds. Clouds, get out of here. I don't even know how people do it. How do people live in Detroit? Ah, get out of here. I'll be there soon, chrislee.com. How do people do it? I only want to live in a place where it's sunny every day. Every single day. I need to move to, I don't know where I need to move to. Where? Where's it sunny every single day? Florida, but then they got the storms and the hurricanes. And so it's like, all right, I guess we settle on what we do. We come here, we pay high taxes for California. And then guess what? The grayness. It encapsulates us all. It envelops us all. So, okay. So then I guess we're just going to be sitting here in the grayness. And that's not, that's not good. That's not good. But, um, you know. I just don't, I don't know. But it's been okay. I've been kind of hanging out. I haven't really done many shows. I did, you know, last time I was on the road, I did uh, Salt Lake, which I just keep going back to. That was a really special show. And, uh, but I've been hanging out. I've been with my family. William's getting chunky. How about that, man? William's getting chunky. My second born getting chunky. I watch that show Silo. Forget it, dude. It's so good. I don't like shows that are all the same color and there's so much brown in it. But, dude, that show's so good. And that that woman, Rebecca Ferguson, dude, she's killer. I love her. I love Rebecca Ferguson. I don't like the name Ferguson, but uh, I love – I don't really like the name Rebecca either because 
I don't like the name at all, honestly. Rebecca Ferguson is a bad name, especially because Rebecca is a bad name because you can also, the nickname for it is even worse, Becky. So Becca, bad too. So she's all over the place with the name, but dude, she's awesome. She's very beautiful and she's a very good actress, dude. And I guess she's in Mission Impossible. Had no idea. But this move, this show, Silo on Apple TV, dude, set it and forget it. It's so good. I love it. And I know I said it last episode, but I love it, dude. I think I said it on the Patreon episode, actually. Go to patreon.com slash Leah. Sign up for the extra Patreon episode every month. We have about 30. Um, yeah, dude. It's such a good show. And I watched it. And guess what I did? I like this show so much that guess what he did? No, don't tell him. No, tell him. No, tell him. Come on. No, no don't tell him. But guess what he did, even though he watched the show. Oh, what did he do? Dude, he went into the suggested shows after that. What? The, you you may also like, what? He didn't know. He, no way he didn't. And he perused it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all he did? No, no, no. Dude, he clicked on one. What? Oh, he clicked on one. He started watching it. Dude, he took Apple TV suggestions. He did. What? Get out of here. Dude, he did. Me. I did. And I clicked on the show Foundation. Oh, forget it, dude. I clicked on the show Foundation. How come they can make shows that I didn't even know existed for three years? What? Dude, nobody knows any of the shows anymore. I swear to God. Dude, I saw a billboard. I, I was driving down Sunset Boulevard. I was I, I saw a billboard for um, um, uh, uh, Stranger Things. And it said, "The gr one of we'll go down in history. One of the quotes will go down in history as one of the greatest shows in in of all time. And I was just like, dude, hey, let's not act like people are going to forget about that show once it gets off the air, right? That show is, and now I'm not saying, I'm not saying good or bad. I watched the first season I'm, and I'm like, okay, you know, that's what I do. I watch that show. I go like this, okay? Everyone flips out about it. I go like this, okay? I know the actors in there are good. I know they do good jobs. The story, whatever, but I'm just like K when I watch that show, okay? Um, but <clears throat> how can a show be on? They're doing a season two, so it's not that much of Foundation. But how did I not know about it? I I clicked on the trailer of the show Foundation Apple TV, and I go like this. Let's take I go like this, okay? Now you know I side eye it, right? Because every TV show is trash pretty much nowadays, and every movie is even more trash. But I don't really watch the movies. I watch the TV shows. And sometimes I watch the movies for fun. And, and, you know, for shits and giggles as jokes, right? Because there's really no good movies. So I watch the trailer to the foundation and I go, oh, I'm in. I'm in. Why? Two things. Two reasons why I'm in. First of all, there's one actor I recognize. And this isn't one of the reasons why I'm in, but I got to talk about this first. How are you making a show with the guy... The only person I recognize in the whole show with a crazy ensemble. I mean, this ensemble is so insane. It's about a dystopian. Let me ask you a question. How come? What's up with shows about the future? I would say 95% of the shows about the future. It, the tech, the technology's off the charts, right? They can do, they got like, hover cars and like uh, uh wow i'm going on so many we, we i got so many tentacles here i want to go back to hover cars remind me about hover cars ivan but so why are there so many shows about the future i'm talking about 95 percent of the shows about the future where the technology is off the charts just crazy ridiculous but still everyone's fucking dirty like, dude, you could just walk into a room and think, lights on. The lights go, boom, welcome, Bartholomew, because there's so, every, for some reason in 30 years, everyone's got weird fucking names, right? Welcome, Brother Dave, you know? And you walk in and you go, you think, lights on, but still you walk in, you got shit stains all over your face, you're dressed in rags, you look like Kanye West just got in a fight with a cheetah. Like, dude... Make the fucking clothing biotech. Make the, you know what I mean? Make the clothing this shit too. I got the incels barking because someone's showing up. The dogs are barking. But like, why the fuck are the shows so bonkers rad? And it's like, every, people like can literally see their shopping list, their grocery list on their eyeball, in the inside of their eyeball. They just go, oh, well, we got to go to the grocery store. Let's check out what the what we need. Let's look at the list I wrote. And they just go. 
And then they go, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then it just shows up through a chute from the grocery store in the kitchen island. All of a sudden, you got a jar of mayonnaise and some Triscuits. But they're still dirty as shit, dude. And they, like, live underground. They figure all of it out. That's what I don't like about these dirty future shows. It should all be like Demolition Man. Clean as shit, cool as fuck. They are in the tight outfits, flying cars. Here's the other thing I don't like about the Star Wars stuff and the and the all this all the this show, the foundation, hover cars. That's that is such a dated thing to have on a show about the future. Dude, if there were gonna be hover cars, there would already be hover cars. Hover cars are bullshit. And let me tell you why, okay? Because, dude. They don't even, they're not even off the ground. That they're, they're off the ground as much as you would have wheels on a car. Why do you need, you don't need it. If you're going to make a flying car, make the f- car go all the way up around everywhere. The whole, that shit, fuck off with that. <coughs> I don't like that. Have the car either have wheels or it flies completely. That's some bitch shit. Hover cars. In a dirty, I gotta brush my teeth outfit. So I watched the show, The Foundation, because of two reasons. All right. Now, how can you? Well, this isn't it yet. I'm not going into the two reasons yet. How the fuck can you have a show? How the how, bro? How much money do they have? Uh, the Apple. I know they obviously have a lot of money. This show's got to cost. It's got to cost eight million dollars an episode. Okay. There's 10 of them. Say it's $80 million. Say it's not. Split that. $40 million. $5 million to do a sh- each of these sh- shows. I, it's got to cost more, but let's say it costs $5 million. So $40 million are spent on this. Dude, the only act... And there's so many actors in it. There's... there's uh, This is how many characters are in it. Dude, it's about the future with... In a galaxy... They're not just focused on one planet. They got like so many different planets and actors on different planets. So there's like a hundred fucking leads in this show. And just like every show nowadays, the white people are bad, right? And any any person of color is like a hero, no matter what. There was actually one person of color in the show that did a terrorist thing. And I was like, man, they're going to get written up by Hollywood. So, how was the only person I recognize is the fucking guy from uh, Chernobyl, the show, which is so good, by the way. And all that show is the same color, too. It's all green. I guess I like shows that are all the same color, even though I thought I didn't. Um, But, so I'm watching this show, and I watch watch a trailer, and I go like this. Am I going to watch this? And then I see, yeah, I'm going to watch it for two reasons. Why? Because of the guy that's in it, he looks fucking rad as shit. And when you look that rad, I watch a show. And the guy's name is Lee Pace, okay? Now let me look him up because Lee Pace. And I, I, now, this guy, okay, so look. I'm watching this fucking show because of Lee Pace. I don't know who this guy is, but I watch him because he's got, he looks like a, got a really angular body and he looks shredded, and I love it. And he looks like a guy, he's got cool long hair, He's basically like a super good looking version of me, which kind of sucks, makes me feel insecure. But dude, and I know he's tall because I can just see it. And I'm like, this guy, this sucks, right? This sucks. And here's the best looking kind of guy. The guy that looks like he would be dope with a beard that doesn't even have a beard. This guy is so handsome that he's like, you know what? I get how I'd look with a beard. I'm actually not even going to have one. And he's clean shaven. He's so handsome that that beard looks like it's trying to come out, right? Like he's got a, fi- it's not even a five o'clock shadow. It's like a one thirty, right? Like he's shaved. It's like 11, 11 a.m. He's got just peeking out 11 a.m. That just wants to start bursting out. They go, I know five o'clock. Hey, uh, the 11 a.m. Sh- hair in there is like, that's ah, five o'clock somewhere, right? Hey, there's different times on zone, aren't they? The hair trying to come out, just right trying to come out. Yeah, he's handsome. Let's make him more handsome. That's what we want. We want to procreate. So I go like this. 
I'm going to watch the show, and he's got the best outfit in the whole show. It's super blue, and it's just all armor, but it's nice and like still thin, but like he can, he's mobile in it, and it stops right here, so it shows his cuts. And I'm like, i got to get out to the gym more, which I've been doing, by the way. But he's got just enough product in his hair, and I'm just like, great. Thick eyebrows, just a good-looking dude. So I'm like, I'm going to watch it because of him because I don't recognize him. So like, who's this guy? He's a lead in one of the show, in a show that's cost $80 million, and I'm just going to, I don't know this guy? Come on. I watch that, and then there's it in the trailer. There's like, dra not dragons, but like beasts in it. So I'm like, I'm all in. So those are the two reasons why I'm watching this show when I sit watch a show. And I'm watching this show. And this guy, Lee Pace. Now I'm spending way too much time talking about this show, Foundation, on Apple TV. But it doesn't matter, dude. Because this is where you come for the hard-hitting facts. How congratulations podcast is it of this show to talk about for 10 minutes, a show that's been on for two seasons already. Not even good to talk about it. But that's what we do. And the cult's with me, my babies. So I'm watching the show, and I find the show is it's fine. It's very hard to understand because they just it's so mathematical. It's about <laughs> – sounds so like something I would try to like write when I was 15. But like it's about a um, uh, 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 a, a scientist – um, they call it like psycho mathematic history or something. Anyway, you can um, predict what happens in the future with large populations because of math, which is fucking stupid, honestly. But I'm watching the show, and so I find it's very hard to understand. Like they start talking in all sorts of jargon. It's almost like make it a little bit, <clears throat> simpler. I'm, I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb, dumb. So let's get it going. So I'm watching this shit and I find myself watching the show. And every time this Lee Pace guy comes on, I go like this. Yeah. All right. You know, <clears throat> I get a little in my feelings about it. Just watching the show, by the way, by myself, just watching the show, <clears throat> trying to understand the show and like the show, but also this guy's, he's got, he's got it going on too much. So I'm like, okay, so I watch another episode and I'm just struck with how good looking this guy is. And also he's a good actor. And also he's British. So I'm like, all right, I got to look this guy up. Fuck. It's got to happen. I got to look the guy up. So I look at who's on the show. I see his name is Lee Pace. And I'm like, that name is kind of cool, kind of. So I'm like, fuck. The guy's cool. He's got a cool name. So I go to his Instagram. I look at his Instagram. He's got, you know, not a million followers, but a lot. I find out, okay, he was like one of the fucking elves that nobody knew about in Lord of the Rings or whatever the fuck. I don't know if it was Lord of the Rings or, yeah, it was Lord of the Rings. And I, I'm like, all right, okay, so he's got some cool roles. And I'm looking through his Instagram. I'm like, this motherfucker has a great body. So now I'm getting more pissed off. Getting, you can tell he's big. So now I'm like, ah, fuck. And I see how he looks with a beard. So I'm like, this guy. He's really, really, he's working my last nerve, all right? But I'm on his side, though. He's just, it's unfair with how good looking I think this dude is. And I'm like, I wonder if Kristen would fucking probably like this guy. I go, if he has a beard, he'd probably fucking be all in, right? And then I Google him, and he pops up. And I'm like, looking at certain pictures, and I know that probably people are going to be upset that I, you know, I say this. But sometimes you could look at pictures of people and you're like, just by the picture, you're like, it, 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 is he gay? And then I Google, is Lee Pace gay? Dude, he tied the knot with his husband last year. So I go like this. Wow. Wow. And immediately I don't feel threatened anymore. Now, how fucked up, how fucked up am I? I'm just watching a show. By the way, I'm married. He's, I don't know. I made this guy up in my head practically. But I'm watching him. And uh, now I'm like, oh, I love it. I love that he's gay because even, I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. I, <laughs> and I already don't. By the way, 
this is the motherfucker that deserves an Emmy for this shit. Dude, he's American. He's playing British. I don't know. First of all, I don't know he's not British on the show The Foundation. Second of all, I don't know he's gay. Bro, this dude is killer. How do I not know two things about you? They should, this guy should work for the fucking CIA. My favorite actor, Skyrocket. Lipe Stan, dude. Anyway, I got to watch the Lord of the Rings shows now because of him. Um, guy's good, dude. I just want to smell his breath, you know? It's got to be great. Talking entirely too much about this show and him. Obviously, somebody send this to him. Let him know I'm a fucking hugely paced fan. God, if he was straight, imagine. But, dude, good for him, man. Good for him, you know? Good for him. God, the guy's just so comfortable in his skin, huh? That's the thing, dude. You got to be comfortable in your skin. Fuck. You got to be comfortable in your skin. Anyway, the show's fine. It's too confusing for me. And I spent way too much time talking about it. But this is the hard-hitting facts here. Dude, speaking about going working out, dude, because the guy's got a great body. That's one of the reasons why I thought he was gay, too. If somebody's super fit and that good looking, I'm like, oh, are they gay? Because, you know, gay guys like to have be really fit or really fat, right? There's no in-between gay dudes, really. Like, I saw a gay dude the other day walking around, and I knew he was gay because of the way he was walking, right? It was like, he was bigger, but also he, sometimes gay guys with big stum stomachs walk, walk, like, proud about it with the tummy out you know like they walk into a fucking store and the tummy gets there like point oh, 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 one seconds before them i know that's kind of true for all of us but this guy's tummy got in a little bit earlier than my tummy would even get in right um and he had a midriff whatever they call a crop top i don't know what they call it but his tummy was just out and it's like okay we get that you're proud and you're working it but also get a longer shirt or lose weight you know right like don't be both don't be that big and then also have a crop top, right? Because then I got to be like, oh, fuck. Ah, now I'm thinking about it. You're infringing on my thoughts. So there's two types of gay guys, the real fat ones that like own it. And then the, the fucking super fit ones. Um, <clears throat> so I go, I now I go to the gym and I go to the gym and you know that, right? Because speaking of Lord of the Rings, they need to fucking shoot the, the prequel TV show on my back, right? And um, I did deadlifts. Uh, I've been using the hex bar, but dude, I started doing the traditional Olympic bar or whatever the fuck they call it. And uh, boy, oh boy, am I sore, you know? And uh, so that's about it. <laughs> that's about it about that. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get that Lee Pace body. I wonder how tall he is. How tall is Leap? Leap? I gotta look it up. How tall? I gotta look it up because of my, not because of my OCD, but honestly, I wanna look it up. Lee Pace height. You, you gotta be shit. You gotta be shitting me, dude. He's 6'5. You gotta be. This guy is the best looking guy I've ever seen in my life. I, I honestly. He's six. I wish he wasn't gay. I wish he was out there just destroying. Hey, babe. You probably like a guy named Lee Pace. Come, come, come in here for a sec. You like a guy probably. You could stay there, but you like a guy probably. I'm watching this new show on Found Day on Apple TV, and there's a guy on it, and you like him. Well, but I don't know if you're going to be on camera. It's okay if you are, but look. Oh, well, I liked him just the face. You like the face? Yeah, and the six five just takes. All right. Okay. Well, he's gay. I know you can't have him. No, he's not. He's gay, and it's beautiful. Look at his husband, Matthew Foley. All the good ones are gay. That's well, okay, not all the good ones, but... So you're straight as an arrow. Yeah. Look at him. Look at Calvin. Hi, Calvin. Look at him. Look at him, Calvin. Is that his husband? That's his husband, okay. who's also cool. Yeah, so cool. All right. Wow. Okay, see ya. Anyway, that could have been your father, Calvin. So, he's so good looking, dude. And he works out. Come on, babe. He works out, babe. 
He's so good looking. Look him up with a beard. Um, the whole fucking podcast about this guy. <sighs> On my fucking notes, I have. <laughs> I I have. I have barely ever take notes. On my notes, I have handsome foundation guy. Speaking of Lord of the Rings, uh, they did is Aragon from Lord of the Rings. He's black now. Did you know that they made him black for the Magic the Gathering cards? But by the way, you can have just Lord of the Rings guys on Magic the Gathering. I don't know, dude. That's what it said. They made Aragon black, and like they're, they're up in arms about it. Wasn't it Viggo Mortensen who played him? Yeah, and now he's black. So the internet's going like, "Is this okay? Would J.R.R. Tolkien wanted that? Is that the guy who did it? J.R.R. K. J.K. R. Tolkien, Tolkien, read right, him, right? J.R. Tolkien. Uh, so uh, that guy is black, and I wonder what J.K. J.R.K. Rowling's would have done. Calling Tolkien would have done, because that's fine with me. I don't give a shit. He's an elf or whatever the fuck. Make him. I don't give a shit. Make them have a penis on their head. I don't care. They're fucking elves. They don't, you know. Is Aragon an elf? What is Aragon? The king of many elves? Of men. Oh, so he's a guy. Oh, he's a guy. Okay. Oh, well, he still doesn't exist because it's Lord of the Rings, so I don't give a fuck. Make Batman green. Um. Just don't make fucking the, the Shonda Rhimes show woman is black, you know. in history, She was in history a white person, but I don't care. It's Netflix, dude. They're going to have a fucking paraplegic by Daredevil soon. Uh, just blind and also in a wheelchair. Can't move. Stop, evildoer. The evil guy's like, no. And just fucking jumps away. And he says, ah, fuck, I don't even know. I can't see or do shit, really. And just blow into the shit. Um, so, yeah, Aragon's black, so that's what's up. And they painted him real nice too, like super handsome. They painted him real nice, like, and uh, it's dope. And uh, I'm like, dude, they're painting them too real. Like they don't actually exist, you know. I don't like when they paint people that don't exist too real. Whoa, I'm fucking crazy, bro. I because like make them a little bit more cartoony. They don't actually exist. <laughs> You're gonna paint them all real, dude? Just paint a guy. Because here's the thing. One day somebody's going to fuck up, paint a fake guy so real that you're going to actually, by mistake, paint a real guy. And then that guy's going to see it. They're going to be like, you painted me. And you're going to get fucking sued. That's my likeness, right? Black guy who's Aragon, who in real life looks like Aragon, is going to be like, I want money from that. Magic the Gathering, pay me. Why is Magic the Gathering in, uh, in having the Lord of Rings people in it? Too many crossovers, right? Won't be happy till Anne Frank's an X-Men. Um... <clears throat> And Frank, let's go fucking save the world. I can't. I can't. I got to stay up here. Um, I don't like how Apple TV and and Paramount Plus, they come out with shows. They don't just drop them like Netflix does. They fucking drop them. They drop like three and you get hooked on them. And I know this is by design. They try to do it. And then they fucking release it every week. And I'm like, why do they do that? And then somebody said to me, they do it to keep you watching, to keep you fucking subscribed. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's right. That annoys me. That makes me want to unsubscribe. I got my Pure Spectrum gummies, CBD. You can go to uh, the Pure Spectrum thing. What is it? <clears throat> Let's see what it is. Pure Spectrum. Uh, the, the, B, the CBDs. Um, CBD. I, I go here. Pure Spectrum cbd.com there it is and you could click and you can get like per, uh, a big percent off by typing in con uh congrats congratulations or congrats congrats you can get 15 percent off on all your cbd stuff i'm gonna take it right now i love it i take the gummies your spectrum cbd is good oh that was loud um, so anyway, I'm chilling. Oh, I guess 
this hold on. This is what I wanted to watch. Dylan Mulvaney likes women now. This guy is he I'm starting to get to like are you is he trolling us? Is he just trying to make some money off the shit? I don't know, man. I want to watch this. Oh my God, I have never felt so alive. I haven't really talked to you about this, but I have been followed on and off for the past two months. And usually I just try to pretend it's not happening, but today it really bugged me. And I was just going to get my laser hair removal. And I was like in the office and I like walked out and I was like, I'm gonna lose them. And so I turned full on fast and furious Tokyo drift. And I'm like racing like down alleyways. And like, I felt like Liam Neeson in like Taken. Mm -hmm. And I did it, I lost them. It was so exciting. But mm -hmm. now I do think I might be addicted to drag racing and not the RuPaul kind. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also just funny cause I think, you know they were trying to get a picture of me looking mm -hmm. not great, mm -hmm. but I feel great. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna post. Post what? Post this what? on here. Okay. So, you know, posting it for free. Mm -hmm. All right, happy weekend. I love you. Protect your peace. I mean, that was fine. Um, these people in the thing, please get security if you can. Yeah, but also, you know, stay safe out there, you know. People are fucking... <clears throat> uh, crazy. And I don't want you to die. So... Let's chill. Uh, I, I, but yeah, apparently people, the internet is up in arms because, uh, Dylan, uh, is saying that they like, uh, women now or something. So it's like, how, how long until she's just like. He, she, I don't know, you know, I, I don't want to fucking Mulvaney. How long until Dylan, it, wait, what the fuck? Come on. Is just going to be like, oh, I have to sign in, dude. I don't have Twitter. Fuck. Maybe I can do it on my phone. Uh, dude, Lonzo Ball, you know? Lonzo Ball is uh, about, but Lonzo Ball sounds like, oh, here it is. Lonzo Ball sounds like fucking uh, 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 to, uh, to game that would come out in the 90s that like kids would play with. Hey guys, it's Lonzo Ball, right? Hey guys, it's Lonzo Ball. You and your friends up to eight can play. Grab a ball. And wait until the robot yells Lonzo. Lonzo Ball. And the robot, Lonzo. Lonzo Ball from Mattel. Grab eight of your friends. It's Lonzo Ball. <laughs> yeah, here it is. That I may be a little bit romantically interested in women. And that was a big shock for them considering the past 10 years of coming out as gay, then queer, then non-binary, then trans. And I think it was just a bit of a shock. So I tell my dad and he goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, no, no. She would be getting me. So I recently told my parents that I may be a little bit. That's the end of it? Well, that's the end of what I see right here. My parents that I may be a little. non -bi goes, well, I would love to see you get a woman pregnant. And I said, oh, no, no, no. She would be getting me. Well, so that's I uh, the end of that. How does that happen? I think that this person is just uh, fucking with us, huh? You know what I mean? Because it's like, uh, I don't know. If the woman got him pregnant or her pregnant, I, I don't even know anymore. But if that person, Dylan, got pregnant, then I'm in. Dude, just do it. Get pregnant, got, uh, person. Um, and um, that's great. Get pregnant. I want it, I want it to be like, the, I won't be happy to like the 
Remember that show, the movie Junior? Was that what it was? With John Arnold Schwarzenegger got pregnant? Where like Danny DeVito nutted in his asshole and then he got a... Well, I don't fucking remember how it goes. That's twins. But um, <laughs> yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger got nutted in, but his his butt got nutted in and then it fucking had a kid. Um, yeah. Uh, the thing is, some here's the... And I made a clip on... There was a clip that went viral that I was talking about how I think this... this Dilemma Vaney person is not all mentally sound. Uh, And not because they claim to be trans, but because of how you can tell when someone's crazy just by looking at them and even hearing them, really. Um, And I was saying this, and then uh, uh, here's another uh, red flag on if somebody is uh, not well. They are constantly changing their uh, identity, which is that that person is doing that. Like, this is why a lot of actors are crazy. Actors will be, like, super into jiu-jitsu and then yoga and then matcha. Like, all they and then all they'll just eat. Like, they'll eat vegan and then they'll be, like, on a carnivore diet. And it's like, like, Charlie Hunnam probably does that shit. And he's fucking batshit crazy, probably. And uh, I don't know if he does that. But I'm just saying. Like, these people who constantly change their identity are fucking insane. That's it. And I don't know. I'm, I don't give a fuck trans not. Go ahead. Be Whatever. I don't give a shit. I'm just saying that person sounds like a loon. Not because they're trans. Because they sound like a loon. Um, So, yeah. I don't know. I guess you can be trans and like women if you were born a guy. It's just all sorts of weird. Also, what about women, dude? Women are like, man, I've been a woman all my life, and it's fucking hard, and I got to deal with the shit and get periods and all that, and now you're just going to come along and be the best woman of all time? Like, remember when Caitlyn Jenner was on the cover of the thing, and Women of the Year? It's like, dude, if I was a woman, I'd be so fucking mad. Then again, what? who gave him Woman of the Year? Time? Or who gives a shit? <coughs> you know? Honestly, who gives a shit about anything? Mm. Is what it is. <clears throat> Here's another thing about <clears throat> Look at this. This is the best. I've seen this too. About this guy. This guy is so 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 funny. He's also probably trolling. I don't know, maybe not, but he's so funny. Come on, dude. Internet's not good. Uh, it's that it's that black dude who's bald who has a really like dyed beard. The thing when he was talking about uh he was talking about it with uh, who's the one who used to date Kanye West, that big uh, ass girl Am- Amber Rose, uh, when he was like, when she was like, I'm a slut, and he and he, she was like, it's okay to be a slut, and he was like, it's amazing that you think that way. This is great. Why won't this play? I'm pissed. I'm gonna. Here we go. Do you regret not getting married, having here, 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 here. no children or anything? No. Do you regret not getting married, having children, now that you're older? Well, and I'm gay. You're gay? Yes. Uh, you all look gay. Oh, you know? They come in all shapes and sizes, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gay? Oh, I'm wow. Gay. I didn't know you were gay. Yeah, well, I mean, I just told you. How did you become gay? <laughs> One doesn't become gay. One is born that way. Does God know you're gay? I believe so. Did, you know? Wow, this guy. Did he make you that way? I, makes you that's that way. That's my opinion. You think that God made you gay? I have no, you know, I, wow. I don't know the, I'm not going to be presumed to. Uh, Why would uh, this guy go on this guy's show, you know? You know uh, what's going to happen. Plumb the depths of the, of the most high, but yes, I've, I've been gay as long as I can remember. And so, have you been with men? Of course. Like sexually? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Dude, like this guy knows gay people exist, you know? Mind blowing. This is, this is mind blowing for you? Yeah. Why is that? Because I never expected a, a priest and a father of Epiphany Church to be gay. That you're, you sounds don't look like you're gay. coming from the assumption what, what's look gay mean? You know, switchy and soft looking. Really? Oh, wow. That's what Dude. you call stereotyping. 
Oh, but that's called. Uh, that's like if I were to say to you, yeah, we "Well, go. you're black. Where's your fried chicken?" Damn, I was at dude, the dude, get. Well, he just fucking. I was at the house. House. I can't wait to get home to eat it. <laughs> Soft looking. Really? That's what you call stereotyping. <laughs> oh, but that's called. Uh, that's like if I were to say to you, "Well, you're black. Where's your fried chicken?" I was at the house. And I can't wait to get home to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, bro. So you know. That's amazing. So. Are your, does your, do your congregation know that Absolutely you're gay? Absolutely, they do. That is mind-blowing. And so you think that God made mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's unbelievable, dude. This guy really is unbelievable. Um, that's a big question. Um... Wow, what a, that is a good. You're talking about everything that is that is involved at the not only at the bottom of this universe, but whatever ever what other uh, whatever other inner universes exist. So uh, I would say that. Um, <sighs> how, how do you know? I don't think actually that force that we call God makes mistakes. No. Dude. How about, this is hilarious, okay? Let me tell you why. No children or anything. No. So this priest is gay. This guy can't believe he's gay. They're, they're, he's like, I guess it sounds like he's judgmental, right? Uh, you know, it sounds honestly just simple. But they're both talking about God. And it's like, okay. We can go further and just not talk about this because probably there's no God. Do you know what I mean? Probably there's no God because of how, honestly, because for real, because of the Kardashians are here. And I don't want to, that's not a, <clears throat> God really put them there on this planet to test me. And that's an egotistical thing to say. But this guy's brain broke because of that. That's hilarious. You know what? The guy's probably gay, right? This guy? I want to look at more videos of this guy. It's called The Fallen State, is what it is. Um, I've seen this guy, The Fallen State. Uh, uh, Amber Rose video. Here we go. Here we go. And it's like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, uh -oh. but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Uh, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. <laughs> a slut maker. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? No, it's sad. <laughs> but men shouldn't do that either, though. It's not, I know that a lot of women think that. Dude, he, man is a, he says, isn't that amazing? Like, 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 like when he says it, it's fact, you know, what does that make you a slut? You sleep with a lot of women. And then, and then what, what's that make you sleep with a lot of women? A slut maker. And she's like, oh, wow. He said, isn't that amazing? Like, <laughs> that, honestly, that's how Calvin talks. Hold on. That men get away with that, right? Mm -hmm. But they really don't. A man should not be having sex with different women. Oh, okay. He, Why not? It's not. It doesn't show respect to the woman. Well, you what just if she use wants her it? Up for sex. But what I'm if sorry. she wants it? And then he should correct her because <clears> the woman that wants sex with different men. But what's the difference is out really of between a man and a woman besides the private parts? What's right? the difference? What you say? What's really the difference, right? Oh, well, besides I mean, anatomy. Different. What are you like, talking what about? What is the difference? Well, we're both human, right? So if I want to <sighs> have sex. I should be able to have he sex laughed. when I want to have sex, and I shouldn't be labeled as anything because I'm a human being. How would you define, personally define slut? How do you Here define it? I, I define it as a derogatory word that men and women use against other women to put us down for our sexuality. And so you want to take the shame out of that word so that when women do these things, they won't feel embarrassed by it? But it's not about them doing these things. That's where you, you that's where the mistake comes okay. in, right? So. Okay. This guy just doesn't if give a you fuck. You can be a virgin you know? okay. and be called uh -huh. a slut, okay. right? Because it's really what people think about you. It doesn't matter mm. actually what you do, right? So, like, if you're in high school and a boy goes and makes a rumor about you, 
that mm. you did this, that, and the third. It doesn't mean you actually did it. It's right. what people that's think true. you did. So now you're the school slut. That's true. So that is true. regardless, that's what I mean. You can be called a slut and not actually be a slut. It's just a derogatory word that people use to bully women, to put them down for what they either think they did or what they actually did. Mm. Preach. Mm. Mm -mm. Who is that guy? Do you even know what his name is? Isn't that amazing? That's so funny, dude. We got to watch that part again. Oh. Isn't that amazing? No, it's sad. But, but <laughs> then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. A slut maker. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? No, it's sad. <laughs> but men shouldn't do that either, though. It's not, I know that a lot of women think that... Jesse Lee what? A man is a... That men get away with that, right? They really don't. Dude, this guy... Savage moments. Are you a Christian? I am not. You're not a Christian? No. And how, where do you put yourself as re concerned of religion? Maybe I'm multi-religious, if that makes sense. No. I... <laughs> Dude, just no is great. This guy suffers no bullshit. I, I am a person who believes in faith and goodness holistically. Amazing. I've noticed that women today, not all, Mason. not all, but mostly liberal women, mm. they seem to be, they pretend to be tough, but yet when you see these type of movements, they are saying that they're weak. You know, they need laws and they accuse men. It's as though they don't know how or have the strength to say no to a man or to walk away. Whereas when I was growing up, mm. women were stronger Mm -hmm. And if, if, if they didn't want to do anything with you, you knew it. You said, okay, fine. You know, I have a lot of friends, I think. Um, you know, Trump has, has do you think that Trump tells lies, kidding. blatant lies? Do you see that the president is more transparent than any president or administration in recent history? No, absolutely not. Absolutely and How not. is he not transparent? Well... Why does he own up to the Stormy Daniels story if he's transparent? That's dumb, man. Don't go there. I mean, give me something I'm real. Asking, that's a question. That's a personal thing. Give me something and real. It's, and it's based in truth somewhere. Give Why me, doesn't he just own the truth of it? That's shallow. I'm not going there with you. That's shallow. Give me something Why is real. Why shallow? But, it's, but it speaks about his character, though. What does that have to do with the president in How the White the House now? When, he, when his character is in question? How is he the his light? His character is not in question. Uh, I'm questioning his character. Because, These are questions he hasn't an answered. And the reason you're doing that because you are a member of the family of the children of the lie. Are you a Christian? <laughs> uh, I believe in God, yes. Are you a Christian? I believe in God. Are you a I Christian? Don't think God, I don't think God intended for us to have identities that said we're specifically what he wants us to be. I don't think he wants us to be called a Christian or Jewish Patrick. or Buddhist or anything. He just he wants us to believe in him. So. Are you a Christian? Uh, I believe in God, yeah. I, I didn't ask that. I asked, are you a Christian? I believe in God. You're not going to answer that question? Well, I don't know what, how, I, I don't know what a Christian is. I, I grew up in Christian church. I, I'll tell you that. But let me now, ask, are you a Christian? So, God, dude, a dog with a bone. No, you. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know if I can identify like that because Patrick, in my eyes, oh uh, God, not Christianity again. has done a lot of harm. Patrick, it, it are you good. are you a Christian? Uh, <laughs> I, I I don't think so. Patrick, are you a Christian? <laughs> I don't think so. You can't answer yes or no. I I'm not sure. That's for me and God to figure out. Once I meet God, I will figure that out. This is insane. You realize you sound insane right now, right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. All absolutely right. not. I told you I grew up in a Christian church. I know exactly what Christianity is. But, so, but how do you know how do you know what Christianity is when you don't know if you're one or not? Well, I'll tell you this. It's kind of a good my father, if you know I what it is a, if you know what Christianity is, then you would know if you're one or not. So <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I, I, then I'm not. I'll say I'm not. You're not a Christian. Why is that so hard to say? 
Well, the reason I say that I'm not is because I don't think I live up to the parameters of what a really good Christian is. But you still should know if you're one or not. The answer is yes. Okay, okay. Well, he got to the bottom of it. Uh, That's amazing, dude. Holy shit. This guy's amazing. Uh, For some reason, I think he went viral again because everyone's hitting me up saying, you got to talk about this guy. Uh, Are you a Christian? Are you a Christian? I don't know. So, I, so David, I Christian. He is so fucking over every everyone. Just, just SMA saying. So good. Uh, God, I would hang out with that guy. Um, let's look at. Here we go. Um, let's look at some some tenders. Okay. Oh, 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 God. A woman says to another, no, to someone, come get that ass ate respectfully. Mine respectfully would rather eat your ass. Oh, sweet little man, I can take care of you, love. And then he says, I'm not sure you want to, I'm a hairy man. She says, I want to enter the jungle. Oh. Okay, well, it's all so, all takes all sorts, right? Takes all sorts of all sorts. Well, end of the jungle. God, that shit just to be like, because you know there's like toilet paper in there too, a little bit with real hairy dudes. Not for me. I'm just saying. Maybe it's happened once or twice, but I'm just saying that's actually so. Eating a dude's butt is is gross. You know, that's why gay guys are so hairless because they know they get it because they're a guy and they've eaten butts that are also hairy and they're like, well, I'm going to do my part and just shave my, you know, wax it, whatever. This is the fucking biggest clapback of all time. The guy, the guy, the girl says, the woman says, all men are trash. And that's, and the, and then, and the guy says, that's exactly why I only like women. Or is it so low? I don't know. Um, he got her there, huh? Hopefully he got a date out of that one. Pretty gangster to do that. Okay. Uh, he unmatched pretty quickly. Okay, here we go. Um, <clears throat> thoughts on 69? Uh, overrated, she says. Three favorite sex positions and why? She says, my favorite position has got to be one, going on a date, two, holding hands because we like each other, and three, cuddling on the couch and PJs watching TV. Amen, sister. I love it, dude. Put them in this place. And they're my favorite because they really turn me on. Gives me butterflies and shit. And the bonus fourth, I also secretly love, is called meeting the parents. Wow, this guy got, this guy unfriended, dude. That's good, dude. I think if a guy comes like that, that's how the, that's how the woman should come, you know? Good job. Good job, man. Good job. Would put me in my place fucking five years ago, 100%. Here we go. You might, here we go. You might enjoy being choked, but turtles don't. Pick up your fucking trash. Oh, boy. And then he says 6'3". What does it even mean? Turtles don't? Do you know what that means? Oh, don't litter? Wow. I mean, that's so, there's so many, got to do so much thinking to like, people don't want to be on these apps thinking, you know, they just want to know if you have a good face. Um, here we go. There's another one. What, uh, it says, what's your favorite medieval helmet? You know, such a dork. And then she writes, all very good vintages, hope, but I'm afraid you run into a bit of a medieval helmets connoisseur. There is, of course, no better helmet than the 1511 horn helmet that was a gift to King Henry VIII from the Holy Roman Emperor. 511 was generally a great year for helmets, but the horn helmet is the cream of the crop. Wow, dude, just did a bit of Googling, huh? That's good, though. She obviously liked him. That's good. Or they both love helmets. He probably was fucking with her, and she'd probably fucking with him. But if they both love helmets, dude, they found someone. Hopefully they wear a helmet when they do the horizontal mambo, right? Because you got to have safe sex. Um, all right, you guys, thank you very much for watching the show. Talked about that show foundation and that doodly pace for so long, but you know what? You got to see a little bit of Kristen and Calvin. Um, 
I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment for the algorithm. We love it. And uh, stay tuned. Patreon.com slash Chris uh, for the Patreon. That's it for the episode on YouTube. But uh, go check out the extra episodes in the uncut version. Um, and uh, and that's about it. Thanks very much. We appreciate you guys. Go get tickets at chrisley.com. And there's also that new merch out there, the Grow or Die merch, chrisley.com. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you.